Hey everyone, it's Pengnis here. I'm back with another episode of Aquatic Hardcore Challenge in 1.13. Last episode, we got some iron armor. I've started working on the farm I have up here on the surface level of the ocean. I have some, I think these are potatoes. But I'm, I'm, it, I just started that, that at, the, at, the, at the end of the last episode. So it will take a while for them to grow before I can get some food out of them. But before that I have some bread to eat, so I'm not going to die of hunger. Uh, at least for a while. I should be... the potatoes should have grown by the time I'm running out of the bread. But anyways, I got some more iron in the furnace still. I didn't use in the last episode. I should probably keep a couple for another iron pickaxe. But let's make boots, so I can get that tiny bit more protection from any mobs I will encounter. That one armor bar, it, it has a significant, it affects the damage I take quite a lot in the long run. So it's very useful to have it already. I don't have the helmet, I will do it as soon as possible. Would have the three iron there if I need another iron pickaxe or another iron tool or something. We have to see. So anyways, today's plan is to continue mining. I'm going to need more iron and other materials. I would like to find more coal, some gold, golden apples would be useful. But the only problem is that I can't really grow any trees at the moment. I can of course find apples. At least, I think I can find apples from strongholds. I don't know if I can find them from anywhere else. But let's mine from here. Let's have a nice short mining trip. For the beginning here. I just want to see if I can get a couple of more iron ores from here. And we already found one vein of iron. That has zero durability. So let's combine. The, because it gives the 5% bonus durability if you combine two different tools so it's very useful for iron tools maybe not so useful for stone tools but for iron tools very very useful the 5% increase in the durability means like what should I say so I'm not completely lying to you um, well it's about 10 durability so it has an effect it's not too large so it doesn't matter if you don't do it but if you don't have a lot of iron it it is going to be useful let's move that into the second slot in the hot bar because that's where I usually keep my iron pickaxes it's very common to have an, an exact order for all the tools and materials to have in your hot bar I like to keep sword at the first one and the pickaxe in the second one, or the bow. Bow and pickaxe in the second and third. And water bucket ready at any time. Without there shouldn't be any lava legs on this this particular level, Y11. But it's going good for this kind of situations. And I have to keep up, keep, be sure that I remember I'm on hardcore mode. So I should not forget. But this is the same cave. So I should be very safe here. If I just remember to light up this area. So I can guess I can get some redstone for the XP. Because I will get enchantments at some point. But going to the nether, we will have to be very careful once we go to the nether. Even though I have to get some. I could go there like now if I wanted. I could like just use the bucket. I guess most of you know nowadays that you can make the nether portal without damage pickaxe very easily. I guess it's kind of a basic knowledge to the nowadays. At some point I, it seem, seemed like no one knew that you could do it without damage pickaxe. But let's use the bucket here. I don't want to have lava lake near here. So let's just put one torch there as well. And let's continue for a tiny moment. How much iron do we have? 19. That's enough for the helmet and a couple more tools as well. 
I don't really need other tools, maybe a shovel might be useful. But at this point, it's kind of good idea to have spare iron. Oh, there's some water up there. Have some spare iron in case my armor breaks. Or a sword or something. Or I need another bucket. I don't need anything like shears or something like that. I can make four more torches, but I don't have more wood with me right now. So it's probably a good idea to stop once I run out of torches. I don't want monsters to spawn here. It is one of those things. You don't want to see monsters in your caves, in your mines. Be exact, these are not caves. Oh, that lag spike. If something like that happens, when I'm like fighting a mob or something and I die because of that, that would be the, my least favorite way to die and end the series. <laughs> oh wow. That would be kind of hilarious, but I would not like to see that happening. If I can ask one thing, that, that's the thing. We found uh, some diamonds. We found diamonds. It's third episode. It's kind of to be expected to find diamonds at this point. I'm just, just but, but I'm just getting the iron gear. I think if this has eight diamonds, it's going to be huge. Yes, it does. It does have eight diamonds. That's, that's a lot. I can make, do I want to make the diamond sword? Because that might make everything that tiny bit easier. Do I want to mine them instantly? Because if I get fortune, it's going to be just great. So I need for that I will need five diamonds. So I have to mine all, at least five. So what I want to do is to get three diamonds for the pickaxe because that's the first thing, and then two for the enchantment table. I will leave the rest maybe. Do I want to have two? For diamond sword, does that have a significant effect on the damage I do? Let's take the two as well. Well, let's take all because if I forget that I have diamonds here, yeah, that won't be fun. And the notification find a tree. Yeah, there are no trees in this world, so that's that's not going to work. But yeah, I I think last time I logged on Minecraft, I was. If I'm not completely lying, I was in 1.8 playing mini games last weekend. Oh, and I went past the right corridor. Yeah, there we go. This is the correct way. But yeah, I've been kind of busy for the past few days, but now it's getting a little bit better. Now I don't have a ton of school things to work with, so I should be able to make all the videos. So that's why there wasn't a video yesterday as well. I was kind of busy with one school project for chemistry. It took a long time to make actually. So that's the reason why there wasn't any content yesterday. But I will try to make all the content that should hold for this week. There shouldn't be anything too bad. Any, anything too time consuming this week. So that should be fine. But I need some a couple of planks before I do that. I expanded the tiny bit here. Uh, can I do that? I can put cobblestone there, maybe. And this is running out of durability. In, like, I can do it 30 times before it breaks. I mean, I can use it 30 times. And this will, these logs will be the better choice. I wonder if there, there's something in that chest in there. Or was this the first shipwreck I looted? Yeah, it was. For some reason I thought this wasn't. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, Golden Turtle King has made a series about the, uh, started his, his his series of this challenge as well. If you want to check it out, feel free to. So if you are interested in that, go into the link in the description. Let's make the logs into planks. Some sticks. I can use those to make some torches as well. Put the first thing, diamond pickaxe. And we don't want to make another, but I want to make a damn sword. 
yeah, that's definitely better than the iron one. So iron one, just in case, I have it there now. So I guess what we should do would be to get obsidian. Uh, I just don't know if I can get any leather. But I know that you can get books from these shipwrecks. So we should go to an adventure. Maybe once we... Well, did I have a map? So that will help. So I don't have to look at the coordinates. Makes it easier. So I don't have to follow my coordinates all the time. I can use this one. To kind of see where I'm going. Right? So I don't see anything on the map, but... Of course, this is a small map, so I don't really expect to see anything either. And most of these are underwater as well. So let's put the iron, let's smelt the iron, let's break a helmet before we go. I would like to find another so I can find like bo a book, at least one book, if not more. Um, let's put some coal there. I don't need the redstone for anything. Like, really useful, I really need to have during the series. There's not really that much use for them. And yes, we should probably make a door or or fence gate. I think there were some other, like, other, like, blocks that you can use to block water. Like, if I, let's say I put the door right there. I almost forgot this earlier in the series, but you can use these to make it a lot e to lo your life a lot easier. If you just want to have some air underwater. That that would have been very useful at the beginning, but since I wasn't able to get any wood, it just wasn't possible. So let's get enough iron for the helmet. And since we now have the diamond pickaxe, I don't think we need we need any iron pickaxes right now. I came from that direction, so let's go into this direction. So is yep, let's go to north north east, maybe. West. Yeah, let's go into this direction anyways. We can find some fish as well. Because that's going to be another source of food, as I said in the first episode. Fish. As well as some all the loot I can get from the shipwrecks and underwater ruins as well. And I already forgot that I shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't go underwater for too long. And I took one heart of damage. Yeah, that's never ideal. Uh, I won. What was respiration enchantment? If I can get the leather helmet with that enchantment, yeah, that would be very helpful indeed. So let's try to find another shipwreck. I'm already out of the map, but as I said, the map is really small. Wait, is that the shipwreck? Or is that the coral? I think it's a coral. Fair enough. I think if you time it right, you can go to the surface and swim faster while having air. And that's what I'm doing right now. So you have to be careful not to go underwater, but not too high above the surface either. Otherwise you will run out of air or out of the steam like that. I could be ready to fight some drowned as well. Since I have all the all the armor right now. What oh, is a shipwreck? Which is kind of above the water as well. Which is very awesome. But yeah this during this trip I've already used quite a lot of hunger. My hunger bar. I have only three breads, but I can get some more food from this shipwreck. At least I hope so. But this seems to be a like shipwreck, like not completely broken one. So there should be some three chests in this particular one. Um, and let's have the doors ready as well. And there might be a door here as well. Shroom there. Can I go here? And let's put the door here. Like that. Can I, can I go inside the door as well? Because that's kind of like compulsory. What is to work? Oh, more iron and lapis. Fair enough. I will take it all. 
no problems. That's great, I guess. Uh, I don't need the door here anymore. Let's break it. And let's hopefully escape this area. And there is a door here. As I remember. And there's some paper. Not books this time. I, I've definitely seen some books. But yet there are definitely no protection for. Hmm. That's quite good. To be honest. I haven't seen any treasure maps either so. I think it's something to do with this. It's only for motion. And they can't generate. Like they only generate on beaches or something. I can take the coal. Uh, poisonous potatoes. I can take the wheat so I can make more bread. And gunpowder as well. Because why not? can use that for something. I think that was everything. I could also get some easy easy wood from up here. Like if I just place a couple of blocks here. And mine. <clears throat> it should be easy. But I definitely need the book. And the easiest way is of course to, to get it from these shipwrecks. I don't really know other ways to do it easily. Um, actually that's probably easier to practice. But you can find books. I think you can find them from strongholds. At least from the libraries. So that's something to count on as well. But yeah, let's get all the wood I can, can get from here. So I can use them later. I don't have to break my own street break for the, the wood. Because that's definitely not ideal. And all of these are falling into the ocean. Eight pieces of wood. Yeah, that's fair enough. Let's see if I can like find another one while going in this direction. So I'm kind of going back home if I'm going into this direction. At this time I'm not going further away from my base. Wait, what's, what is that right there? Is that just another coral reef? But the coral reefs are very common in this world. They are not like rare at all whatsoever. You can find them basically anywhere. If you just go like 100 blocks you will find one. Like they are not this common in normal worlds, I've noticed. There's one skeleton up there. I don't want to fight skeletons, to be honest. That's just terrifying. I know they might be able to kill me. But we have Sukar Kane on that island. So it might be worth it, to be honest. So I sh maybe should go there to quickly get the Sukar Kane. And then just get off the island. Yeah, they're a little bit separate as well. There's a creeper. Hey, we could get the music disc. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not at this point of the series. It's kind of useless as well. I haven't seen any fish, to be honest. Which is kind of surprising. But I can use all of this to make a lot of paper. And if I want to get an Elytra, it's kind of useful to have that. Okay, yeah, the skeleton saw me. But if I go underwater, I should be fine. I shouldn't be taking any hits from the skeleton. And now I'm far away from the skeleton, so I'm completely safe. Only things I have to be careful for are drowned, as well as pufferfish. Because they might poison me. And I think they only spawn in like war motions or something, so... Yeah! Wait, there's another one here. Great. Am I going like into the right direction? Southwest? Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go as well. But we have another one here. This is a little bit more broken one. But we have some... We can go to get some like iron from here. Iron and lapis. Those are the most common ones in these chests. So let's get them. I got the protection for leggings. I don't think they are better than the iron, iron leggings, to be honest. They might be, and I might be completely wrong when I say that they aren't. I don't think it is it has such an high like such a huge effect. I, to be to think about it, 
I think feathers are more useful now. If there are no chickens whatsoever. Hmm, I should have thought about that as well. I can make arrows using the feather. I can of course kill skeletons, but sometimes it's just a better idea to just basically... Wait, that's such a larger landmass there, I think. Let's head back home to the base, which shouldn't be too far in this direction somewhere. Am I going into the right, right direction as well? I should be going southwest. That's east, so I should be going into this direction. Which, I guess, is more like if I just go south, I should be fine. No, I should be going north. What was I thinking? Did I say that I was going in the wrong direction all the time? For some reason I thought this was the right direction, but when I saw that shipwreck I was a bit wondering that a tiny bit. Although they, I could have well gone like a little bit in the wrong direction to find that. But yeah, that explains. I was going in the completely wrong direction. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't ideal. But yeah, I guess it shouldn't take too long to swim back. Will take a while. I'll see you once I'm back home. Uh, unless I die, because I drown or something. Then, then you will see it. <laughs> oh, there's my base. I don't know if I went past it as well. Like, this map is such a small map. I might have easily missed it completely. Like, if I went a tiny bit too far there. Yeah, that, that might explain it. Because which direction was I going to? Yeah, I'm coming from, like, I don't know. I was just starting to go in the wrong direction then, I suppose. But we got some decent loot in this episode, at least. A lot of iron. We have, should have more in the furnace. Cooking a lot more. Yep, we have a lot of iron now. So that shouldn't be a problem. As well as I get some bread. I shouldn't die of hunger anytime soon. Yeah, that's very positive at least. Compass, yeah, that's useful as well. But hey, I think that was enough for this episode of Hardcore Aquatic Challenge Episode 3. And yeah, potatoes are growing. Soon enough, we'll have some potatoes to eat as well. So we don't have to eat just some bread that has been in the shipwrecks for hundreds of years. Yeah, that's really very delicious and healthy. Yeah, not rotten at all. But yeah, we will get some fresh potatoes at some point. We got some diamonds. We have some spare ones for the enchantment table. I will go and get some obsidian in the next episode. We might be going to the nether as well. Although, I would like to get diamond armor before. <laughs> Just in case something bad happens. And usually something bad happens in the nether. Okay, tomorrow. Rare Valley SMP video or Survival Let's Play video, I will see which one I'll make. Because one serial change on Saturday, there's going to be a Rare Valley SMP stream. We're going to take down the Ender Dragon. So, mini games on Sunday or Friday. Well, we'll see. But they will change places. I will mix, that, mix it up this weekend, but all the series will be coming. So, yeah, we will see tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I do 6, I do 3 Minecraft videos a week and 3 streams. So if you want to join me, hit the notification bell as well and join the Discord. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Remember to stay penguinish. Bye!